So obviously it has been quite some time since I have uploaded this channel, Harrison's uploaded this channel, um, obviously because we're in school and we're both very busy, we have jobs too. Um, but given the circumstances with this whole coronavirus thing, the great University of Dayton has sent me home. And uh, so now, you know, we're basically on quarantine because of this horrible virus. So that gives us the opportunity to review some more crap can cars. However, this car that we're reviewing today is far from a crap can. So here we have a 2010 Jeep Wrangler JKU Ufer Unlimited, which is the four door trim. And it is the sport trim, which is the, uh, the cloth seat trim, the less tech trim. Um, but it is mainly the bare bones Jeep Wrangler. Now obviously as you can as you can see it's had some stuff done to it. This is uh this is my dad's daily driver. Um you know, we really don't have a whole lot of options because uh we're on kind of a mandatory quarantine right now, so we're making the best of uh of what we got. So I borrowed the keys from my dad and taking his daily driver out. Um and we're going to do a quick review on it. Now, this Jeep Wrangler is not perfect by any means. Uh, it's got about 125,000 miles on it. We have uh, taken it off-roading several times, my dad and I, and with his uh, Jeep Club, the Glass City Crawlers, as you can see right there. And it is a very capable machine. You know, I would consider this maybe lightly to moderately um, modified. And it, it, I mean, it holds its own. I mean, the Jeep Wranglers are extremely capable vehicles. What you're seeing here is your pretty typical Jeep Wrangler JK engine bay. It comes with a 3.8 liter V6, which produces 202 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque. It is bone stock, it is muddy, and it's really kind of how a Jeep Wrangler engine bay should be unless you're going, you know, the boost route, which isn't really all that required in a Jeep Wrangler if you're just, you know, plowing through mud, climbing up hills or rocks or whatever it may be. You don't really need a whole lot of power. You need the clearance and the tires and all of that other stuff. Probably the most important feature on a Jeep Wrangler is your wheel, tire, and lift setup. Um, you know, your engine bay, of course, that's important, it's cool, but you really don't need a whole lot of power. What you do need is clearance, you need traction, and this is what these Mastercraft Courser MXT 35 inch tires do. Uh, they're paired with these pretty generic black wheels. Uh, I don't really know what brand they are. You know, probably about a hundred brands make wheels that look pretty much exactly the same as that. But they look good, they serve, you know, their purpose, and they look great with the all black exterior of the car, too. So for the lift, we have a two and a half or three inch rough country lift. Um, it does the job. It's a suspension lift, not a body lift. Um, but it gives us that extra little bit of clearance that you need to crawl over whatever obstacles uh, you need to crawl over. So when your big meaty 35 inch tires don't get you over the obstacle that you were hoping it, they would, you have these rocker guards. Uh, I don't know what brand they are. My dad got them from a from a guy in uh, in the club, but they protect your rockers. Um, and they look actually really good. Next, we have the uh, the most recent um, upgrade to this Jeep, which are these EAG flat fenders, and then they come with these uh, these inner fender liners for your wheel well as well. And I think it's really cool. Don't mind the rust. Um, since 1941, obviously big Jeep thing. Um, and they have this little white metal on the inside, so it really looks really, really good. But um, they give you this added little bit of suspension travel, a little bit of clearance, so you're not rubbing when you're, you know, going over a big rock or whatever it may be. And obviously they're on the back as well. Um, they're kind of a pain to install. I mean, you can't really tighten a nut in here. So, I mean, because it's, you know, you got nothing there, so it's pretty difficult to do. But with the help of uh, of a fellow club member, uh, a friend of my dad's, we were able to get it done. So pretty cool, pretty cool. They look they look really nice. 
of upgrades to this Jeep. We have this EAG uh, front stubby bumper. Uh, it's obviously got the D-rings, a couple D-rings. Um, look, looks, it looks really good. Um, really good if you need to pull somebody out or, you know, God forbid, have someone pull you out, which happens. Um, but, you know, it looks really good. Obviously, you got a spot for a winch. Doesn't have that yet. It'll be, that'll be there eventually. But uh, it's a great looking bumper, and I think it really, really gives it a good look from this angle. And I'm sorry the video is a little shaky. Um, it's pretty cold out, so my hands are cold, a little shaky. My gimbal died, but you know we're out here. I'm super bored. Um, just getting over a little sickness, uh, not the coronavirus, thankfully. Um, but I wanted to get out, and make a little YouTube video um, about a car that I really, really enjoy. So, yeah, there is the 2010 jeep wrangler jk so before we get out on the road with this thing i forgot to uh to talk about the interior now i didn't clean it uh it's kind of too lazy to do that um but you know it's obviously your basic interior cloth seats um pretty basic wheel um you know kind of cheaply made stuff i mean that penny's holding that holding this vent in place then you have the no ra the I mean you have the radio no navigation or anything and another cool part about these Wranglers and if you've ever been in one I'm sure you've run into this um, obviously the, you have the uh, the switches for the windows in the middle because obviously big thing about Jeeps is that the doors come off so which is actually really easy to do you just there's a clamp up under here in this dirty footwell. You undo the clamp, um, you know, take that off. And basically it's just, you lift it right off these two hinges. And then your doors are off. So that's another, it's a nice thing for the summer. Oh, I'm gonna hop in here. But you got this little grab bar. Uh, aftermarket grab handles, you know, pretty nice. Actually really, really sturdy. But, I mean, really, it's super basic in here. Um, he put a CV radio in here for the, you know, for being on the trail. But, yeah, I mean, it's so basic in here. Um, you know, you're not buying a luxury car when you're buying a Jeep Wrangler. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. The back seats, same thing, cloth. Not a whole lot to talk about. But everything's very basic. If it's at night... And you got people that, you know, in your car that have never been in a Jeep Wrangler or something. They always get confused by this lever, you know, because they want to pull something out. But you got to pull back like that. It's kind of funny. See, you know, they take some about two minutes to figure it out. But, yeah, I mean, the interiors of these Wranglers, super basic. Some stuff in there, some boots. Um, not a crazy amount of trunk room, but... So now that we have uh, gone through pretty much everything noteworthy about the interior and exterior of this car, it's, gonna, it's time to start it up and get this thing on the road. Lights up like a Christmas tree. Let's see how many of them go off. Alrighty, just gotta buckle up. So the first, uh, first con that I can uh, tell you about this, this specific Jeep, not uh, not really Jeeps in general, is it, it is an automatic, but that's just that just comes down to preference. Um, but you know, I mean, it's it's not comfortable by any means. I mean, it's comfortable enough, but it is not really your ideal um, daily driver. If comfort, if uh, ride quality is your priority, um, obviously the 35 inch tires, 35 inch mud tires. Um, and a lift, it doesn't help at all. You know, you, with the with the tires, you have uh, really a whole lot of whistling. You know, the tires whistle when you're driving. It's kind of annoying, unless you like it. I kind of like it, but you know, you feel every single bump. You feel all of them. You uh, you hear them all. It's really kind of a pain. 
overall, you kind of have to appreciate this vehicle. Um, it's iconic, you know, since 1941. Um, it's held pretty much the same general characteristics, you know, the big boxy shape, um, it's off-road ability, you know, that's kind of its whole selling point, is uh, being a very capable off-road vehicle. And it is that, and it's always been that, and hopefully it always will be that. Um, you know, it's it's a great car, and it'll always, it'll always sell well. Um, it'll always be popular among, you know, people that like, go off, like to go off-roading, and also, you know, white moms or whatever, but that's just the whole, you know, that comes from just the attraction of driving a nice Jeep. Everyone loves Jeeps. That's why they sell, you know, that's why they hold their value so well. It's because they're iconic. Nobody, I mean, you know, you got the Hummer, but nobody really makes a car like the Jeep Wrangler. Um, that may just be me being biased, but nobody really tops the Jeep Wrangler in this category. Um, it truly is a phenomenal car, phenomenal vehicle. Uh, so, I mean, it'll always be around, hopefully. Uh, always be made right here in Toledo, hopefully. Um, along with the Gladiator, I haven't driven one of those yet. I'm hoping to. But, but finally, I kind of want to say um, about FNC. Uh, obviously, you know, Harris and I are both uh, in school. Uh, we're still in our spring semester technically, um, but both of our schools are kicking everybody off campus because of this, because some idiot decided to eat a bat over overseas. Um, but, but so we're basically in quarantine here in Ohio and probably, you know, across the United States pretty soon. Uh, kind of bummed I'm not in uh, the great city, the great school called the University of Dayton. Um, but, so, Harrison's not here for this video. He'll be, uh, he'll probably do the next video because, uh, you know, we're kind of isolated. I'm not seeing him because he's probably got the coronavirus, who knows, knowing him. Um, but, you know, he'll be doing stuff on his own. I'll be trying to get stuff out too. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get a lot of videos out. We're kind of just making you know, the best of it. I mean, there's only so much we can do, but hopefully by the time 